uh ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the other side of the coin and welcome back to another edition of your latest chelsea news big up to each and every one of you guys eid mubarak to my brothers and sisters in islam and uh big up to each and every one of you honestly i mean even if you don't celebrate eid eid mubarak to you all as well now ladies and gentlemen you know one of one of the best attributes that i like in a person is when they are accountable when they are aware of what is surrounding them you know when they are able to self assess i love that i love that characteristic in a particular person so ladies and gentlemen enzo fernandez has come out publicly and he's actually admitted that look i've not been good enough i've actually not been good enough i'm trying my best to get to the level of um that argentinian level when he plays for argentina i'm trying to get you know get to that level when when i won the world cup he's 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 come out and he's publicly stated this and he's been quite honest that look i'm trying to get there as quickly as possible i've not been good enough and i love the fact that he's saying this and being accountable look i've said it in recent times and you guys know it as well and I know a lot of you guys probably don't appreciate this I think majority of you guys do I've said that undoubtedly undoubtedly Enzo Fernandez has not been up to his mark but at the same time he's not the only player there are several players in this squad under Maurizio Pochettino under this new ownership under the board the sporting directors that we have a lot of the players have not worked out only maybe two that i can think of off the top of my head in the likes of Cole Palmer and Marlo Gusto who's really really worked out everyone else kumsi kumsa really kumsi kumsa so, so in the likes of Jackson Nicholas Jackson in the likes of perhaps Mudrik to a certain degree maybe they've improved a little bit um and that's being overly kind if i'm being absolutely honest but besides that everyone else they've been subpar subpar so it's not just about Enzo Fernandez and i've also said that you need to have an environment you need to have an environment that gets the best out of you the manager in recent times has been quoted to say they're still assessing these players they're still trying to understand the profile of these players by the way i'm just watching uh PSG versus Barcelona Barcelona just um level things up at 2-2 i want to talk about Xavi on a different video um probably after this one we'll, we'll do another video which we'll upload sometime tomorrow but coming back to this you need the right environment you think about any anywhere else forget about football you think about any industry anywhere you work or you study you need the right environment to get the best out of you is chelsea the right environment no now i don't want to paint that as a excuse cuz at chelsea it's chaos all the time the other factor is it is the manager's duty to understand your strengths and weaknesses as i said the manager in recent times have quoted to say that they're still profiling the players after 10 months they're still profiling that is ridiculous to me the manager by now should know what is enzo's strengths what are his weaknesses and should do the level best to highlight the strengths as opposed to exposing the flaws and should have a setup that enhances the strengths a lot more as opposed to exposing the flaws for the rest of the world to see a lot of the players that we have are not capable of playing the expansive basketball style of match plethora of space the field stretched out transitional football a lot of our players are not designed to do this a lot of our players i feel a far designed to play a far more compact football close proximity passes short passes and then you you progress up up the field now i guess you can't have a go at pochettino on this because he's never been that type of a manager this is where i blame the owners and the two sporting directors for mismatching misprofiling a manager with the squad so we need to understand as a fan are we being harsh on some of these players not a lot not all of them there are some that i think have been disgustingly poor no problems about that but as a fan do we really think 
some of these players, because I, I see the fan base, the way they talk about Enzo, the way they talk about <clears throat> Caicedo and many other players. Some of these players are kidding on. They go to a quality team, they'll shine. Much like how we've seen, you know, some of our players that have gone to Arsenal in recent times, Kai Havertz, Jorginho. They're doing a lot better with a better structure. So we need to think as a fan base, what are we actually saying? Now, let's have a look at what Enzo Fernandez was uh, reported to say publicly. Check this out. Enzo Fernandez, I want to feel like that Enzo that was playing at the World Cup. I want to get back there. Maybe personally, I'm still not 100% and don't feel like I've shown my potential. I'm trying to get there as quickly as possible. I love this. Great accountability. Great awareness. Self-assessment. He knows. He knows the kind of player he was in Benfica. Everyone was after him. Let's not beat around the bush. Let's not pretend this never happened. When he was at Benfica, he was lighting it up. And Benfica were doing really good in the Champions League. And he was one of the main focus in that team. Then he goes to Argentina. We saw the level of football he played for Argentina in the World Cup. Then we got linked and we all got so excited. And even when he was playing under Grand Potter, and mind you, it was diabolical under Grand Potter as well, there was a lot of times where Enzo Fernandez was shining. And he showed a lot of leadership qualities as well, in my opinion, under Grand Potter, more than anyone else. So look, I love this. And I hope, I truly, truly hope, if Pochettino stays for next season, I truly hope that he finds a solution, a proper way to utilize Enzo. Don't utilize him as a box-to-box -box like a Musa Dembele back in Spurs. That type of... He's just not that. Don't utilize him like a Wanyama that, that Pochettino used to have in Spurs. Like, that's just not that type of a player. And if that's what you need, I'm telling you, if you keep utilizing Enzo Fernandez in this manner... Sooner or later, he will say to his agent, let's 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 leave. Let's leave. Enzo Fernandez further goes on to say, we're all united as a group, pulling in the same direction and trying to learn. We are a young group, a new team, and so it was always going to be hard to find consistency. We are all trying to do our best, every one of us. Once again, I love the fact that you know, this is probably more than what you hear from our captains, Gallagher, Chilwell, Rich James obviously injured. Yeah, he's he's doing captain's work as well. It's clear to see, even in the field, whenever there is a, a scuffle, like a, a, a bit of a bit of a chaos between players when Cole Palmer is about to take a penalty and someone's trying to take the ball away from him, you see Enzo Fernandez generally stepping up and saying, Hey, come on. Palmer's taking this. I love it. I love it. I love it. For me, he's a leader. Enzo Fernandez further goes on to say, we can still win a trophy this season. We're in the semi-final of the FA Cup against Manchester City, and we believe in this group and the coaching staff and everything they bring to every training session and every game. So, look, let, let's see. I, I, I would love to hear the honest assessment from Enzo Fernandez in terms of how he's been utilised under Pochettino. Obviously, can't say that publicly, but it would be. Uh, I'd be keen to know if this is how he really wants to be utilized, because this is not how he plays for Argentina, and this is definitely not how he used to play for Benfica. And we've seen recently as well, we watch games, right? There doesn't seem to be any tactical setup at Chelsea Football Club at the moment. Players are just allowed to do what they want to do and find their own solution. Managers are just there, it seems like, from a mental standpoint, that we're there for you. Gather you do your thing, we're there for you and in the outside, on the outside. Just imagine if Enzo Fernandez played under a manager with a lot more tactical nows, with a lot more tactical understanding of the game. We would see, honestly, we would see a totally different team and a totally different, um, you know, game from Enzo Fernandez. Wow. Oh, I thought Barcelona just got a penalty. Now they've got a free kick.
Next up, ladies and gentlemen, before we go into the next thing, smash up the like button, guys. Absolutely rip up the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification as well. We'll go. We'll try and be live tomorrow. Obviously, we had Eid yesterday, so we couldn't go live. Let me know about the whole Enzo Fernandez thing in the comment section. 100% let me know how you feel about the entire Enzo Fernandez situation at Chelsea Football Club. Let me know. Now, check this out, what Flora Maluda had to say. Flora Maluda, Chelsea need one or two players like Tony Cruz, players who have been uh, who have a high football IQ that they can analyze every scenario, take right decisions, and lead the team. This is the type of profile I would be looking to bring. We need experienced, ambitious player. Flora Maluda isn't the only one. I think in recently, Joe Cole was talking about bring one of Tony Cruz or Luka Modric to Chelsea Football Club if he can. Um, they're on a one-year contract extension. Both of these players on a regular basis now at Real Madrid. Every season they get assessed and they get that one-year contract extension. Do you know what? I would I would love it. I would love to have this level of experience, this level of quality at Chelsea Football Club because we 100% lack this. But you know what the funny thing is? Players like this quality, Cruz and Modric, they'll come to Chelsea Football Club and the fan base will turn on them immediately because our manager, Pochettino, will not be able to utilize Tony Cruz and Modric the way they really should be. He'll expose them. They'll run past them. Speed will be a thing. Pace and power. Because of how open Pochettino plays. So there's no point in bringing a player like this with so much quality and don't know how to utilize them. And on top of that, so that's the fan side of things. Our fans will, will not understand this. Our manager will not understand this. On top of that, this is not a value proposition for our owners, bringing in a you know, 34, 35-year-old to the team, paying them high wages. There's no value to them. So this is why our sporting directors, our owners, they simply won't do this business. It doesn't make sense to them because there's no resale value to the player and you're paying high wages for the player. Two things that under our new model is unacceptable. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, voila, we're getting linked to more kids. According to Globo, Chelsea are interested in sports receipts, 17-year-old right back Pedro Lima and have met his agent to register their interest. 17-year-old right back. I mean, it's clear and obvious. We're not going to stop with the kids' acquisition. We're going to be doing this as long as these owners are here because they see a lot of value in kids. It's a revenue stream for them. Massive, massive revenue stream for them. So forget about getting experience. If you see a 17-year-old, 16-year-old, yeah, that's what our owners want. Low wages, low transfer fee generally. There are some of them in Brazil who have got ridiculous release clauses. No problems. But the general consensus is low transfer fees, low wages, high resale value, potential for high resale value. That is the model for Chelsea Football Club. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, sources have said Pochettino is safe and the club are confident the manager will hit this season's targets of European football, even if it only, even if it is only Conference League. So we, we will settle for Conference League. The bar is so low. The bar cannot be any lower. <laughs> Our owners have set the bar as low as possible. Conference League. I don't know. What's that? Can, do you need to come eighth? Seventh, maybe eighth. I don't even think that's possible, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see. But the bottom line is, looks like Pochettino is still safe. And this is the general consensus. I kind of get general feel, the general vibe that I get that Pochettino will be around for next season. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts about everything we spoke about, most specifically in regards to Enzo Fernandez. I think that's the hottest topic at the moment. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Until next time, everyone. Take care. See ya. Bye.